Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to rename this sl.pcl.dll file. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now open this engine folder, open plugins folder, open runtime folder, open NVIDIA folder, open streamline folder, open binaries, third party, Win64. And over here you can see sl pcl.dl so you can just copy a create a backup first so copy this file and then paste it to the desktop now once you have a backup created now you can rename this file or you can delete this file so you can even delete it or you, you can rename it but you already have a backup so no need to worry if you face any problem you can always put that original file back now still not working the next step is to NVIDIA users, you can roll back your graphics card driver. So you can go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, select your operating system and then click on find. So the latest graphic card driver right now is 572.83 and many users are facing problem with this. So you can roll back to different version. So maybe you can try 572.70. But for many users, uh, installing this 566.36 version has worked. So you can uh, download this file. Now once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on OK. Now click on continue over here and then agree and continue. And then select the option which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. And once the installation is complete, you have to restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Now still you're facing the problem. The next step is to Try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab in the launch option, type in dash DX11, and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work again. This time type in dash DX12 over here and then check still not working. They can, you can remove this, follow the next step. Now, if you are able to launch the game, if you're not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. But if you're able to launch the game, you can go to graphics settings and then select DirectX 11 over there and then check. Next step is to install DirectX file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see download option. Click on download and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Accept. Next. I will uncheck the install Bing bar. So next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, click on finish and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game. So now click on finish and then restart it and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, you can make a right click, select manage, click on browse local files. And this time, make a double click over here. Just make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click. Open this BBQ folder first, binaries, Win64. Select this exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file. Select properties, go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click to launch the game from here. If that does not work, then select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from here. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can go back and do the same thing with this exe file. Now still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK. And do the same thing with the first exe file. 
and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security or windows security and then click on windows uh, windows security over here and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then select this exe file click on open and again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and this time you can go back and then select this exe file and then click on open and then type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse and again select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and this time you can go back select the first exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added now once once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then if you have any other overlay application like discord running in that case go to discord settings and turn off overlay if you have geforce experience running you can just uh, or if you have nvidia app running you can open nvidia app and then you can go to settings of nvidia app and then ignore this error message open nvidia app go to settings and turn off overlay now also um, like if you have nvidia app now for many users uninstalling this app has worked so if you can uninstall it now over here you can see nvidia app so click on this three dots and then click on uninstall uninstall click on yes to allow and let the uninstall complete and then uh, once the uninstall is complete restart it will just ignore this error message and after the uninstall you can launch the game after the uninstall restart and then launch the game if you have any other overlay application running you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner running revert unit running just close all the overlay application overclocking application and then launch the game next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest geforce game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and over here click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add and once the game is added over here click on the game and select over here select high performance you will see the, your graphic card over here now again uh, 
click on add desktop app add B open bbq binaries win64 select this exe file this is important and once the game is added over here so find the game in the list once the game is added click on the game and again over here select high performance and then you can launch the game the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart it will and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website install this visual studio files so install this x86 and x64 so you have to install both the files you click on it and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file again once the download is complete you can again run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed you can close this and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals or any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it also if you have undervolted computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on okay and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 1024 1024 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update your bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter the charger is connected when you update the system bios after the bios update launch the game 
you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you are able to launch the game switch to DirectX 11 so open the game and then go to graphics settings or video settings and switch to DX11 if it is set to DX12 set select it to DirectX 11 also try window mode and lower down video settings so if if the quality the video preset or graphic preset is set to high you can set it to medium or low quality and then check now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on uninstall now after the uninstall inst uh, restart your computer delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel